okay let's double click on the total to start to work on this last bit so double click on that the first thing i want to do is to declare let's call this data type time so i'm going to call that date time that will be date in that's the variable called date in and comma i'm going to have another one i'll call that date out these are the two variables i intend to use okay now let's declare one integer and that will be total days right now the first thing i want to do is you see these two here let's copy this so that is going to be for the very first one i think that one is let's say convert dot to date time and what we are converting that is going to be check in I think it's called check yeah there we go this very one check in date time pick, pick one dot value so that will be for the very first one and now I'm talking about this so the second one might as well just copy the name of that okay it's date out alright copy that come back in here so let's say declare the second call the second variable equals convert dot today date time paste picker day out dot value right now I've got both sorted then the next thing is let's subtract it inside total so total equals date in minus date out minus this there okay let in minus date out okay close that dot day let's close this as well yeah that should be the days all right the next thing we want to do now is let's go for lbl cost this is just to check to make sure it's working equals let's say system it should be equals here system dot convert dot to string and what we are converting that happens to be total days right there so let's see if that works then we can continue with the rest calculation so I'm gonna come in here now let's run it and see right so first first thing first let's change the year to 2017 and we can then change the months to May right then here let's change now let's change the year so 2017 and let's say we want to okay May and what about how many days 31 days okay here let's make this day 22 date in is 22nd and here let's change this one too that's the departure date okay if I click on this that is that gives me minus 9 okay let's come back in here and see all right this is the reason this one sh should be like that copy this date out should be lost okay that's that should take care of it so let's run it and try that again 
okay 2017 and the month is that and this one 2017 let's change the date here and here change the months as well right let's say we go for 30 face you click that yeah that's much that's much better okay now if we select everything that we need to select here 27 year to 2017 gender female or male whatever type family that means this multiply by this will give us the total okay will give us the total multiply by whatever is in here because supposing that is two so that's multiply by two okay that is fine so that's how i'm going to work it out you guys can use any other form you want but that's how i'm going to do that so this is going to be two multiply by whatever we have in here let's say family whatever we have in here this multiply by this and multiply by this no maybe we need to f make it have a cost for meal okay this multiplied by this plus this all right so i think that should be much better okay exit let's find out the name of this what's the name of meal right there and declare a variable for that copy come inside total and let's say meal there's only two anyway so let's just say comma meal and right underneath here let's say mail equals system dot let's convert dot to instead to and that will be mail dot text there okay so whatever is inside our mail always inside this text box is now in here okay that's fine so we don't need this yet or maybe we just, okay let's move this let's just play around with it and see i'm gonna cut it off and just paste it right here and let's say whatever we have in there let's say meal plus that okay just to we're just playing around with that to get to make sure it works anyway okay we know fully well this one is let's, do, let's change that all right let's change the months as well let's go for me and the date and let's come in here May and dates let's make that two so that'll be two right and this one is three so if we add that that should give us five let's see that is correct so that is fine now there's more lines of code to be taken care of so we now know this but we need to be able to determine the room type there's three different types of room in there let's declare another variable dim single room as double then double room
then family room okay let's say single double up family let's give them a price let's find a cost for them let's put a cost on underneath here okay family room let's make that maybe 170 and double 30 single maybe make that 90 equals 90 right per night that's that's quite expensive we must be rich to be in the hotel it's a five star hotel okay that is fine so we've worked out the date and here we have the meal now we have this so let's come in here let's use an if statement if right there okay but this is double okay maybe we change this to integer for now we change that to integer okay so let's cut this and paste it right in there all right that's for single let's try it out before we proceed Okay, we select and let's say this one. Let's change this to the right month and change this to the right month as well. All right, that's fine. Okay, click on that. Okay, we need to select single and let's see okay that is fine it's working that's good so what we need to do is let's repeat exactly the same thing now i'm going to copy this copy that take it right down there and if it's double It is family there okay that's fine so let's run it and see okay this is how it looks now let's enter as follows and then see how the whole system will look like all right type let's go for single and how many days let's go for 31 click on that all right 723 supposing we want to change it to double of family no that's not working i think i've not changed the all right it's still all single so this should officially be double that is double double room there and this 
is his family. What did I write in there? Family room. Okay. What about one more one more thing while we're here? Let's change this to palm sign instead of that. We change that to palm sign. I'm gonna copy this. And let's change this to power sign as well. Right. Okay. So before I run this code, have a good look at it, guys. That is the where the total is. You see from here down here. Here, especially it has to do with dates, subtracting the dates date in and date out was subtracted and that is it okay this is the meal and is then added to what room size you want and so on so let's come down so that you see the rest of the codes that's it all done for the calculation so let's run it okay now instead of Susan let's select another customer entirely two months okay let's come here that's the month date or day 22nd 2017 gender male room type double now how long is he gonna be here for let's go for 29 decision time okay let's enter extension number decision time that is good a 782 pounds let's change it to family and see 1000 plus single yeah that is fine so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this very very interesting tutorial you all have a nice day now and please do subscribe. Bye for now.